So to first briefly update this build, since I don't show what I'm using in this one. Uh, this is basically the exact same melee build it still is from the last video. The only difference is I decided to tweak my main skill tree and take off heirloom armor and stick on mighty tank. Just because I realized, for starters, heirloom armor doesn't help my focus damage or boss damage whatsoever since you have to get kills off adds for it to even stack up. And second, as you've seen, as I'm noticing already, um, I didn't need it. My armor already stacks so much from the uh, close range buff. For one, I have the other one where I increase armor from every enemy in close range, and then increase my close range. And then, of course, the double armor bonus from Boulder Dash. And I'm not really seeing, noticing any difference. At the end of this expedition, there is no difference in my damage from overwhelming force after getting rid of it, even with all the groups on me. So I just realized, you know what, my tank, it's not the best for me because I don't have much firepower or anomaly power on this max health focus build. But you know what, I'll go ahead and get it. And sure enough, it's like, ah, it's a decent, like, 50% more. Like, I went from, like, 700k anomaly power to, like, 1.2 million. Would you think, oh man, that's a big difference? Not really, because most of my damage is just coming from the raw damage from Boulder Dash off that. And my gun damage is nothing great. Um, but I will say, I think if anything, it helped my, you could say, elite focus damage just a little bit better. And mainly, I just consider, it's not really the damage, I just considered, oh well, it heals me even more. So, now I should, because I have a, a big chunk of my healing is just the crazy amount of extra weapon leech healing I'm stacking on him with like damage over time mods that are based off weapon leech but I mean with all the extra gun damage skill notes combined with that it's like okay I, I now heal a decent amount of weapon leech but as it stands this guy I mean he's clear time is still pretty much the same but I still felt like that was a better trade-off in the long run to go ahead and just get mighty tank he's built for it after all with how much armor he gets even if he's not stacking firepower with it too or anomaly power and it's definitely better than heirloom armor i mean if you look at my skill tree what else am i gonna get am i gonna get just one more extra health node when i don't i clearly don't need it anyway i'm already invincible so like <laughs> might as well get mighty tank and just have the middle tree unlocked so i can actually call this a middle tree build finally so